Well, not sure if you heard about it, but there's a central, you know, and I think I definitely got it. It's, it's for sure a big one. It's going around. Everybody's concerned about it. Everybody's like, hmm, I wonder if I get this syndrome. And they're thinking to themselves, I thought I got this syndrome, but I'm unaware that I got it. You know? It's pretty common. Most people think it's rare. It's called bag leave syndrome. Yeah, you heard me. Bag leave syndrome. Let me explain it to you. It's pretty much the fear that, you know, as you get older, you're not going to have enough finances to last through your years on the planet. And you're going to end up destitute. That's pretty much in a nutshell what bag lady syndrome stands for, or the definition, or commonly referred to as mean. So, yeah, everybody's a little concerned that they're not going to have enough for their wonder years. You know, Social Security, it was told to us that it would be um, something that we could live on as we got older. Got into our years of retirement. You know, the settling down years, the years of check traveling, seeing different things. Because now you're not working anymore. You're retired. Well, nobody really thinks that Social Security is going to be around. I mean, do you? Yeah. Well, if you do, you're probably in the tiny, tiny minority. Very tiny. So, what are people doing to offset this? Well, they're taking risks. They're taking chances. They're, they're gambling. Rolling the dice, so to say. And, you know, for everybody that rolls the dice, Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But oftentimes when you gamble, you lose. So, a lot of people are set to lose. And that's where the fear is coming in. That's where the anxiety is playing. And now people, well, a lot of people panic. Because when the casino says, we're closing shop, there is no more money. Well, Everybody's going to be really pissed off, really teed off, really ready to explode. You know, this is why you shouldn't gamble in the first place. Or if you do, always be responsible about it. People are taking risks and chances because there's fear. There's fear that they might not, well, they might not have anything. They might be destitute. Look here. Take all the chances you want. Take risks. That's what living is about. But be smart. Be wise. Don't throw all your eggs in one basket. You know, it might be prudent that you think, you slow down, you assess, you reflect, and you realize maybe what I have can be utilized in a different way. Everybody's got this fear that they're going to be destitute, including you purple all out here. And you know, I have to do certain things to make sure that I'm stable. But I don't worry about it too much. And I keep in the back of my head that one of these days, one of these days soon, purple people's out. Yeah. Well, you know, it could be a bigger thing. But I'm not worried about the money. No, no, no. Money doesn't concern me. I'm just worried that, well, I'm not even worried. Yep, to be honest with you, I'm sad. I really, I don't ask for any money. I just have the syndrome. And the way I cope with it, well, it's the way I cope with most things. I do things free of charge for people. It's part of service, you know? And hopefully that service, it sparks some ingenuity. 
makes people stop and think. But I want you to take away one thing. Even if you got bad money syndrome and you're worried about being destitute, don't gamble everything away. Spread it around. Think. Reflect. Stop. Process. But yeah, take chances. But don't take unwise chances. And remember, the best way to cope with anxiety, well, there is none. But you can't dwell on it. That's all. You know, you're trying to take from everybody. Give to the rich or take from the poor. You know, hang in there. I think that things are going to change. Matter of fact, I kind of know they are.